Thank you. We've been watching the legal issues play out here this morning between the city of Las Vegas and the developer of the Badlands Golf Course. They are once again headed to the city council, this time over the city filing an appeal to the Nevada Supreme Court. Our News 3's Fidel Moreno Meza is here to break it all down, just how much these legal issues could be costing the city of Las Vegas. So, Fidel, what's the price tag here? I mean, that price tag upwards of $400 million. This morning, we're right outside the neighborhood where that Badlands Golf Course uh, or defunct Badlands Golf Course is. Um, and during yesterday's city council meeting, council was set to vote on whether they would like to appeal a decision from the Nevada State Supreme Court. Councilwoman Victoria Seaman opposing filing this appeal. Take a listen at what she had to say during yesterday's meeting. The financial implications of pursuing this appeal are staggering, with potential costs to the city of Las Vegas reaching another $20 million in interest and millions in more legal fees. We must consider what this means for our budget and our residents. Haven't we gambled enough with the taxpayer money? The residents of Las Vegas deserve transparency and accountability from their elected officials. You may remember that state Supreme Court has previously ruled against the city of Las Vegas in a different lawsuit. News 3 obtained a copy of an email that appears to have been sent by city manager Mike Jansen, where he explains the state of the Badlands legal issues. Jansen states that the financial impact of the legal issues is expected to reach over $400 million. And because of this, the city plans to freeze some vacant positions. His email to city staff reads in part, quote, the city manager's office is evaluating various ways to address the potential for $490 million in judgments against us. One of the first actions will be freezing some vacant positions. Additionally, we are evaluating all of our city-owned land assets and properties to see if any could be sold to further help in addressing the situation. In total, the email states that over 300 positions will remain frozen which could save the city about $30 million every fiscal year. The city has established a position justification committee to see which of these jobs could remain empty and which ones must be filled. The city attorney does say that the city continues to try and settle this lawsuit while the litigation continues. Ultimately, council voted five to two to appeal this decision. I did reach out to uh, the city of Las Vegas to verify the details of that email. I'm still waiting to hear back. For now, reporting in Summerlin, Fidel Moreno Mesa, News 3. We know you're